time. Steph and I went shopping and we we picked up we picked up a bunch of board games. Let's talk about these here real quick. Uh, the the Phoenix Wright light -like game. This one is called Lawyer Up, and this is a two player card game in which one person plays as the attorney and one person plays as the prosecutor. And you're 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 playing with cards and one side is trying to build the case for the you know the defendant being guilty one person's trying to prove them innocent and so you're managing your cards in such a way of like i'm trying to collect the evidence that proves my case they're trying while also trying to bury the evidence that proves their case and so i look forward to trying this one out kind of you know phoenix wright ish vibes you know phoenix wright versus miles miles edgeworth if if this is any good i'll definitely let you know if this is something worth trying but conceptually i love the idea of two people in a courtroom trying to pr prove their case to the judge and this is a game about that theme and it sounds really exciting objection yep hold it yep <laughs> uh this next one is uh it's a a roll and write game even though there's no rolling of dice you're using cards for numbers and this is a a variation of a game I've played on Board Game Arena, but I haven't played it uh, IRL. This one is Welcome to Las Vegas. And conceptually, how this works is that each player gets a board. And then as the numbers are drawn, you're writing the numbers on different spots and you score points based on you know where in the sequence you write them. And so everyone's taking their turns at the same time and whoever has the, the most points at the end wins. But there's a lot of different ways that as the numbers come up that you can uh, mark it on your sheet to get different point totals and such. So I played the original one, love that game. They didn't have the original at the store, but they had the Vegas one. And we were like, all right, let's try out the Vegas one. I'm sure it's fine. So welcome to Vegas, Las Vegas. Excuse me. You've been meaning to try that in a couple weeks, Randy, when, when the vaccines all settled in, we will get together and play some board. There's so many board games that we have to play. Another one. This one almost is like a prequel to Lawyer Up. This one, like they're not connected at all, just thematically. This is Chronicles of Crime. And this is a game where you're playing as investigators, um, working through different crimes. And what makes this game unique is that there is an app integration into it. So you're using the same pieces, but because the the game is like digital as well. You can use the same set to work through a bunch of different cases. So I'm really excited to try all of the different cases here in Chronicles of Crime. And one more game. This is one of the hottest board games. Still, I think this came out in 2019, but it's still really hard to come by because of production issues and it's selling like crazy. And I've been looking forward to trying this for some time now wingspan and this is a game that's about bird watching and i remember when my co-worker was telling me about this game and she was like yeah this amazing game about bird watching and i was like bird bird why, why would i want to play a game about bird watching but i mean i've been told that it's an incredible game that's won multiple game of the year awards from you know highly respected outlets and people and those that I know in real life that have played this game have said it's incredible. So I look forward to trying this one out. And it is on the Nintendo Switch. It's on PC as well if you want to try it out there. So I've got the IRL version. If I enjoy it, I'll probably buy it on PC or on Switch as well so we can play it online or, or stream it someday. There it is. That's, that is my, my most recent board game haul. What do you guys think? If you've played any of these at all, let me know. Otherwise, I look forward to enjoying these with Steph and hopefully in a, a post-vaccine world with family and friends as well.